that cute looking little black dog is really misbehaving and upsets me. So I'm spending lots of energy with that dog. And I may even yell at the dog, did you do it again? I told you not to pee in my new shoes and chew on my laces and get on my bed when it's just freshly, even I ironed it, let's say. We can dramatize it a little more. So all my attention goes to correcting the behavior that I don't find attractive. And the same happens when I do not forgive a person because I'm milking it, I'm milking it, I'm milking it. I know people, they milk it over decades, 30, 40, 50 years, and it creates bitterness. And when then they come to me and we do sessions one-on-one, -on -one, and I explain to them that actually forgiveness would be a healthy act of kindness towards yourself. They say, no, this is unforgivable. How would I ever forgive the person? They stole my wife or they ruined my company and many, many scenarios. Nevertheless, what happened, happened. We cannot change what happened in the past. But the past is over. Yes, I think that's a key. If you can't forgive, then you stay connected to that past, right? There you go. That's exactly where I'm leading to. You're just such a good podcast partner. We're just amazingly, <laughs> <laughs> amazingly in harmony. Yes. Now, here's the thing. When, let's say, something happened to me in 19... 98. Mm? And today is 2021 in years. But I'm here today producing chemicals in my body, hormones in my body, neurotransmitters that fire along here and there. And, you know, neurons that fire, that wire together. And only because they fired and wired together in 1998 doesn't mean that now I'm on a life sentence. And I have to do that for the rest of my life. Because now in 2021, who is doing it to me when I repeat it and reconstruct the memory in my own head? Who does it? I put my hands up. I do. Exactly. That is a really important point, I think. You need to own it, right? You need to realize that we do these things to ourselves with our attitudes. One of my teachers, bless his heart, he told me, you become who you hate. That sounds like a violent statement, but... It does sound radical, but I can see the truth in that. Because if you have hatred or you haven't forgiven someone and you have resentment, you have bitterness, and I think that these things build over time if we can't let them go, because we're constantly replaying it in our head or where we've done an episode around memories mm -hmm. and we know that people embellish things in their own minds around the story and often the truth can start out here and through a memory can actually radically change. So I can see that if you had hatred for somebody or you had bitterness around something that happened, and you let that grow over time, then it would build into something that could resemble what they did in the first place. That makes sense to me. Mm. I would even shift it one notch higher. Let's say Joey did something to me 20 years ago, and it was really horrible, horrifying, terrible, disrespectful, hurting, hurtful. I was devastated. This is just a made-up story. Let's say he did that to me. Joey did something terrible to me 20 years ago. And today, I'm here reconstructing the memory, and I did so mostly daily, let's say, or mm, frequently over the past two decades. Who is it doing to me? Joey did it once 20 years ago. And I so condemn what he did because it was not right what he did in this case scenario, which is made up. But ever since, I do it to myself. Over and over and over. Correct. So that is how I become what I hate.